What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is Mystery Box Monday. Hope everybody's had a good week. Hope you're all excited. Throw that off to the side there because we don't need the lid. We barely even need the box because it's all full of this stuff. Let's just, let's just, let's just pick one out. Let's just pick one out. What's this one? Ooh, the Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. This is the new white variation. Bell Tech on the back from the Hot Truck series. Very cool. This was first released in that awesome red color, that lovely, lovely cherry red color. This is in a nice gloss white with some little black striping on there. Yeah, for Silverado and Belltech on the side. Chevrolet on the back. Some uh, gray beaded off-road wheels and Chevy bow tie and some detail on the front there. It's a very cool, cool, cool car. It's large, I'll tell you that much. It's one of the biggest castings that I've had in a while. Other than the Dodge Power Wagon, that's a pretty big casting. What do we got next? What do we got next? We'll grab this one. Ah, yes. The Skate Grom from the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. As you are all aware, I'm only collecting these because these will be a future collectible as the... Uh, 2020 Olympics are no longer happening. So we'll leave that one off there, off to the side. I'm not going to open that one because I'm trying to collect the whole set. Ooh, the new Bone Shaker from the Dream Garage. Very, very cool. This is in a satin red color. Wow, that's a nice paint. Very nice satin red. Have your bone shaker on the side there, Hot Wheels, very cool. And the same on this side, steely rims with the gold trim, very cool. You gotta love the bone shaker, really is one of my favorite castings. And I like the one with the roof, the roof is much nicer to look at. Very cool, what do we got next, what do we got next? Let's go for this one, what's this one? Ooh, the new Custom 71 El Camino. From the Dream Garage series also. Here we have the uh, the jet turbines on the back. That is so cool. I really, really have to say that this casting is awesome. It's just such a great casting to look at. And it's got jets in the back. Nice steely wheels. It's got flames. It's so awesome. It is awesome as shiny metallic, uh, shiny chrome base. But just look at that, it's even got roof scoops for the air. Wow. Wow. And as you know, us Aussies, we love our utes. So this is just awesome in general. But you got a, you got jets on the back. That's awesome. Jet powered El Camino. What do we got next? What do we got next? What's this one? Ah, yes, the duck and roll. We're gonna open this one up. This is from the Street Beast series. This is a new casting for 2020. And it's just a very cool looking casting. These giant wheels look funny, but what do you expect? A little bit of something on there. You have your uh, little propeller on the back. Some exhaust pipes. <laughs> nice mean looking eyes. Just such a cool, cool casting too. Yes, definitely a funny looking one, that one. <laughs> it's actually really, really funny looking. What do you want, what do we want to do next? We'll do a Honda. We'll get some VTEC going, yo. Honda City Turbo 2. Really cool from the race day series. I actually quite like this casting. It's, actually, it's one of those cool castings that I think, I think that is, it's very underrated for what it is. Such a cool car, right hand drive. And you have your Motor Compo motorcycles in the back. Little Honda logo on the back there. Very nice. The new Real Rider version of this one is actually very nice also. I do quite like that. And what are we going to open next? What are we going to open next? What are we going to open? All right, we'll open the RV there yet. This is the new coloration of the RV there yet from the Toon series. This is in blue. A few weeks ago, I opened the red version. But this is really cool. 
this piece here, this caravan section is all metal. This is a blue plastic section. And we have the fake wheels in the center. It's nice though that they actually use the same style for the center as the front ones. It's barely noticeable that it's actually fake wheels from a distance. And you have a lot of, I love camping, road tripping, very cool. Such a cool looking car this one. Very creative, spare wheel on the back, sunroof, and it's this does have a proper interior inside it. It's just incredibly hard to see it. Incredibly, incredibly hard to see it. Maybe I'll open one up. Maybe we'll get the drill out and open one up just to see what's actually in there. What do we got next? Oh, it's okay. There's only two Hot Wheels left, is there? All right. Oh, that's right. This is the new Fast and Furious Spy Racers on Netflix. Very cool. I've never seen the show, but this car is awesome. This is the Ion Motors Thresher. That's cool, as. And I'm not going to be opening this one just this week because, well, you know I like my Fast and Furious collection up on the wall, so I will I'll put that one off to the side there. Hopefully you can still see that somewhat. Um, yeah, until I get a second one of those, that one's going to be going up onto the wall with the rest of the Fast and Furious cars. What have we got next? Woo! Oh, hang on. Did I already open one of these? Not too sure. Bugger it. This is the 1968 Dodge Dart in the Mopar livery from the Speed Graphics series. I know that I've already opened the green one. The green one was very nice. This blue one is very cool. Hey, it looks like it's got a little aerial there. Even though it's just a little bit of something. A little bit of something stuck to it. I don't know what that was. But it looks like I had an aerial for a second then. Little antenna. Very cool, like the Mopar and this. Nice wheels too. The Dodge Dart is just one of those cars which just has a cool look about it. Even in stock standard form, it looks cool. This one in the Mopar design looks really nice. That metallic blue is very cool. Got a nice go fast stripe over the roof. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. And. Ooh. <clears throat> Is that it? Wow. Okay, I thought this was going to be a little bit longer of an episode, but obviously I didn't have enough cars put out to the side. That's all right. I've got some. Th I've got some items that I can just reach very quickly. So here we have. This is the Matchbox Highway series. Very cool. Um, I'm not going to open this one just yet. I'm still waiting to try and find the five pack. Uh, I only wanted it for this car and this car. I have the, uh, the opening features version of this car, so I thought that would be very cool to see it next to. And yes, just got to have the Porsche. The little Fiat's pretty cool too. My only complaint with this Fiat is the crap on the roof ruins it. That little roof rack thing. To me, it just ruins the, uh, ruins, kind of ruins the appeal of the clean look that it's going for. Alright. I said it, I was going to do it, I'm going to open it, but not just yet. What we're going to do first, I'm going to, I'm going to show off a bullet train. Yes, this is the Shinkansen, also known as the bullet train, the most famous train in the entire world. Very cool. I see just there, series Shinkansen, and this is first car, main motor car or main uh, the front of the train is that one you saw by the the yellow lights on the front for the headlights up next is the second part the carriage which actually contains the motor this item has a motor and you can see just there also very cool looking carriage there oh you can also see this is part two and then part three is the rear with the red lights, the brake lights, complete, com collect the complete set. As far as I know, these were, uh, you could actually get an entire train set to run it around on too, so I don't actually have that and I won't be getting it because 
I have no access to these. So let's just move that off to the side there. And there you go, weird random part of my collection, a bullet train. And let's get into this, yes, the RWP, RWB, RWB, yes. Porsche 930 with the aero lift truck. Oh wow, this is just too cool. Love to find that, that's awesome. So cool, even the truck looks pretty cool too. Looks like an old uh, Ford Econoline style. Anyway, let's get into it, let's get into it. Open this quickly, get rid of that rubbish, throw the rubbish away, we don't need that. But we do need this. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, we're just going to put the car down for a moment and check out the flatbed sky ocean rain. Raoul Welt. Uh, what does that say? Big grip. Uh, can't quite read that. That's a pretty cool skull there as well, give him the thumbs up. Look at this truck, man. How cool is this truck? Have all your detail inside there too. Three seater. Lovely gold wheels. And the truck with the trailer part, which turn which where is it? I think that's as far as it goes. But that's just too cool. And do we have any detail on the back? No. I would have thought that they would have at least put some extra detail on the the brake lights. There's the base for you. But other than that, that's just such a cool, cool truck. <laughs> anyway, I'm going on to the part that I really wanted to look at. This is the RWB Porsche. Now in this fantastic purple, really nice, nice uh, gloss purple this. And... What the world needs now is, I don't know what that says, I can't quite read that. Nice detail on the back, RWB. I mentioned in last week's episode that when the first edition of this came out in black, that lovely matte black, I actually bought 10 of the cars and if these were cheaper, I would probably do the same again with these because they that that's just that's seriously awesome. We'll put that at the back of it. There we go. No. Leave that like that. So, that's gonna to have to bring us to the end of today's episode, I think. I, uh, no, I will save what I've got within arm's reach till next week. Uh usually I end up going through too much of my collection in one big 20 minute episode but I think I think today we'll just call it quits here we'll enjoy the Porsche that's just fantastic have a little bit more of a look very cool actually we can move these down move this here into the center bring some cars down and we'll just give a bit of a zoom in there we go so, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you are staying somewhat sane within your isolation and uh, not going too crazy because it is rather frustrating not being able to go out or do anything for me anyway. Um, and until next week, I'll try my best to find something new, don't know how that's going to work, uh, but I will definitely be showing some Batmobiles, so stay tuned next week for some Batmobiles. I'll give you a quick little quick peek. Don't worry, I am not going to open this. This is just a sneak peek of one of my pride and joy Batman, Batman items from my Batmobile collection. Just very cool. So we'll go into that we'll get into that next week and I'm gonna call it quits and sign off and wish you all an awesome day and I'll see you all next week. Bye.